I let Esmeralda, Ariel, my two fillies, and then Bagheera out to play in the outdoor arena for a little bit before I start doing some full training with Ezzy and Ariel. They are just having an absolute ball, so enjoy watching them. Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing some full training with Miss Ariel and Esmeralda. So we are gonna work on tying and grooming and leading and maybe some other things, but actually it's a pretty decent day for February. It's like 40 degrees. We do have some mud, but at least there's a little bit of sun out right now. So yeah, are you doing so good, Ariel? They are absolutely filthy. So the grooming session is gonna be great. I'm not sure how it's gonna go handling both foals on my own and filming, but I'm gonna try my very best. Are you trying to play with my zipper? <laughs> so now I have two weanlings, which is so crazy because Ezzy was recently weaned from Belle. Everything's going good with Belle. We'll be doing an update video on her sometime soon in the next few days. So keep your eye out for that, but everything's going good. Yes, Ezzy's over there just munching away. Okay, I'm gonna get halters on these girls and then I'm gonna try to groom them the way I have planned. I hope it works. It might be a disaster, so stay with me here. Are you crazy? You are disgusting. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to do this? Huh? How am I supposed to deal with this? Super cute purple halter. Will you let me put it on while I'm filming? Are we that good yet? Okay, the nose band's gonna be the struggle for me here. Oh, he's a good girl. It's hard to film and do that, to be honest. <laughs> you are so sweet. Good girl, Ariel. Good job. Ezzy, you coming over? Oh my gosh, we have to adjust this. Your head got so much bigger. What the heck? I got to put this down a hole. Ezzy, don't bite her. Don't bite her when I'm standing here. <laughs> okay, so now we have both of their halters on. And this is how we're gonna work on tie training with them. Back up a little bit. Good girl. 
Okay, so what I did was I put the twine here. They are 100% not tied, okay? It's just the concept. Um, and this is just a start, okay? Ezzy is seven months old and Ariel's like eight or nine almost. Okay, so what we're doing here is I'm just feeding this through here, but if they need to, they can move their head and stuff. This honestly is more so a patience thing than anything. Yep, and what I'm gonna do is actually just stand here and hold it a little bit. And when she tries to kind of pull back, I'm just gonna hold. So she starts to understand a little bit of that. Good girl, and she came towards me, so that was awesome. Ariel's just chill, just standing like this is great. You be good girl. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Ariel is like, yeah, I know what to do, it's cool. You're just so sweet, as he's more spicy. No, you're not gonna be like that to her, you little butt. Be nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna groom them. I know you hear that truck over there. So we're gonna do just one at a time. So I'm gonna groom Ezzy first. Then we'll do a little bit of leading. Yes, you're such a good girl. Look how pretty you are. You are so pretty. Yes, you want to do a little brushy brush? <laughs> you playing with that twine? Ariel's just chilling with the halter on and then I'm gonna work with her. I just think it's better that way. I know, this is hard, huh? This is hard. Hi, you're so cute. What is that? Hi, Ezzy. First, I'm gonna use my metal brush just to get some of the dirt clumps off. Like I said, it's been snow freeze mud here. So no matter how much you groom them, they end up getting muddy again and then rolling. And then I'm spraying a little bit of dry shampoo just to help kind of get some of the mud clumps out. They're definitely not gonna be perfect. I just wanna get some of it off. So that is the goal for today. You being a good girl? Hi. Now, oftentimes I'll use just a rubber curry, but with the clay and how thick their fur is, you have to use the metal when it's dried up. Like it won't come off otherwise. What do you think, huh? Okay, Ezzy is all groomed up. She stood tied really well. I know you've seen a lot of grooming videos with her, so I didn't want to show everything, but I picked up all four hooves. She was good. She didn't try to like move away or anything. So that was great. I can definitely tell she's a little more like, I would say edgy because she doesn't have, you know, her mama, but that's okay. She'll, she'll settle in. But I mean, she's been good. I don't feel like she's stressed or anything. Just like a little bit higher alert, maybe I would say. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta put your head up. You gotta put it up. You good girl. What do you think of this whole thing? <laughs> what do you think of it? Huh? Yeah, we're just gonna walk around a bit. You good girl. Oh. Good job, girl. Good job. Okay, let's go. Good. Oh my goodness. Ariel's way dirtier than you, so she's going to be fun. I wanted to work with them outside today because it's actually decent, but I also really want to do some indoor arena and barn work with them too, especially Ezzy. And we'll have plenty of opportunity for that because there's not a lot of nice days in February, March, and April. Oh, are you a good girl? <laughs> what do you think? Super cute. Come on, baby. Let's go. Good girl. You're doing so good. Oh, good. Okay, now we got Ariel. You are a little dirt ball. She's a dirt ball. Come on. To the grooming station. 
Ezzy, you're in the grooming station right now. Uh, come on, baby. Ezzy, are you just gonna sit there and eat while I groom Ariel? Uh, all right, you better be nice. Ariel has the fluffiest coat ever. It's like crazy. You look so good in purple. I really like Ezzy in blue. Hi. <laughs> Playing in the puddle. Crazy. But yeah, Ariel has such a fluffy coat. It's insane. And I think that's why she gets more mud on her because it just cakes in. I had you really clean the other day. One thing that's good about the snow is everyone stays cleaner and they aren't in the stupid clay mud. Ariel, you are just an absolute hot mess, girl. Like, this is ridiculous. I have to use this brush because nothing else will get into that coat. Yeah, we're not gonna be show ready today, that's for sure. I'm just trying to get some of the chunks out because again, there's gonna go lay in it and roll and all that fun stuff. We got some of this off your shoulder. I'm trying to be gentle right here. Huh. Oh, this stupid mud. At least she's good about letting me brush it. You see this? This is a little bit of detangler. Okay, it's okay. Oh, please tell me this works. Yay! Sorry, girl. Ezzy! I'm sorry. That cannot be enjoyable, per se. This is gonna help us. All right, let's do some leading with Miss Ariel. Come on. He's a good girl. Whoa. For those of you who are new and you don't know, Miss Ariel was completely unhandled back in September. So I purchased her. She had never been really touched, never had her feet picked up, anything like that. So she has come such a long way ever since that. Oh my gosh, don't tell me you want to try to roll in the sand, huh? Don't tell me that. She's really good about leading from the paddock up to the barn. Just been a sweet girl. Yes. Good job, baby. Good girl. Ariel's also really good about letting me pick up her hooves. Let's try that. Let's just show them we already did. Let's show them what good girl you are. Oh, good. You already got it so packed in. The sand just packs. Good job, baby. My little mud balls. That's them. That's them. Mm-hmm. This spring, we're definitely gonna work on more tie training. I'm gonna teach them to load in the trailer. Obviously, Ariel's already been in one, but she was loosely tied, like she doesn't actually understand it. So yeah, those are kind of my goals for them. But other than that, it's just gonna be leading. I will pony them on the trails with like Jiminy or something like that, probably in the summer um, or in the late spring. So yeah, we're gonna take them places and do stuff, but it's just gonna be chill for a few years until they're mature enough to actually start like lunging or starting them under saddle and all that. You are both such good girls. Hey, hey, don't get my stuff. Don't get my stuff. What are you doing? Just want to give you lovies. 
Yeah, sunshine babies, huh? Yeah, so today is more just about hanging out with the foals. I'm not really asking a ton of them. I just want to spend time with them, groom them, just, you know, keep our basic handling skills fresh. You got the right idea, girl. Sunbathing, very smart. Azzy, you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? You gonna roll, oh, you sleepy. See, why do I even try? This is exactly why. Exactly why. Are you taking a nap? Are you that tired? Did I work you that hard? She looks humongous in that frame. <laughs> now, obviously, I do not leave their halters on. It's only when I'm watching them or right next to them. So they'll be coming off soon. She's like eating and laying down. Oh, my sleepy girl. My sleepy girl. Can I sit next to you? Hi. I think you got a good idea, little snooze. That's a good idea. I know it's been hard. You miss mama. But you're so loved. You're so loved. Oh, my sweet girl. What a special moment. Bite my shoelace. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? I thought you're being cute. I'm just kidding. Sweet girl. You're so sweet, baby. Yeah, I'll be here with you. Let's get your halter off too. You're just sleeping standing up, huh? Here, your little halter's off too. Good girl. We really needed this peaceful day today and this moment because I got some really, really sad news. Um, and honestly, I didn't even know if I'd be able to film today because it just made me honestly sick to my stomach. It's so sad. So my neighbor that literally lives right next door, I mean, her house is, you can see it in the indoor arena. It is, it is right here. It's right across from me. Okay. So I got news that she passed away this morning. And this is really hard. She was older, but um, it was not expected. And she she's a fan. Okay. She is a horse lover. And she watched my videos and was always so supportive and always kept an eye on the horses. And she made me the most beautiful wreaths every single season. And it just completely breaks my heart that she's gone. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. It's just really hard because I just, I didn't expect it. And it just is so weird because it just made me think like, you just don't know when your time is you can be here today gone tomorrow so i want to dedicate this video to her her name is nancy 
because she was just a good friend and a good neighbor. And I mean, like, she just loved Esmeralda. I mean, she's <laughs> been here for all of it, okay? She loved horses. She's always loved horses. She had horses she used to show. Um, she had like a paint horse and quarter horses and her girls used to ride and she would tell me all kinds of stories. So I just wanna, you know, dedicate this video to her and I just want you guys to say a prayer for her family because it's just, it just is so weird. I just, you know, like her, like I said, her house is right here. So even just being out here, I didn't even know if I'd be able to pull it together to film today. But I know she would want me to. I know she would want me to be out here working with my horses. And she would just watch from the porch. And, you know, like I said, if anything weird was going on, she would let me know. So she was just another person that had our back and had eyes on the place. So please, you know, just think about her today. Because I was not expecting that news. And it really bothers me. But luckily, you know, I had... The horses to help and um i just i don't know it's just not fair it's just a reminder like i said that you just don't know so live life to the fullest what are you doing as you're silly i don't know it just really bothers me Like I said, she would watch all of my videos. She would comment and she would comment on them. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just, I honestly just don't feel like it's real. That's, that's how I feel right now. How are you sleeping, Ariel? I'm glad you're laying down, honey girl. I'm glad. Hi, baby. A little snuggy nap too. He's a good girl. Sweet girl. It's just nice to have this quiet time. I just I don't really. That's why I haven't been able to talk as much this video. I mean, I did some of the voiceover, but I just have a lot on my mind with that. <laughs> you got itchies? Can I itch you? Oh, it's an itchy spot. I got the itchy spot. I got it. Well, horse lovers, I think that's all I have for today. I'm just kind of drained. Um, but thank you for tuning in. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. And sorry, not trying to make it really sad. But I just wanted to express how I, how I feel. Because sometimes people are like, oh, you look stressed. But there could be other things going on. So I just kind of want to let you know. Plus, I do feel like she was a part of what I do. You know, because she was a fan and a neighbor and a friend. And she watched the channel. So... I definitely wanted to say something about it, Ariel. So yeah, her favorite lipstick shade was the Mustang Mauve because I gave her all of my lipsticks so she could try them and I wanted to wear this one today um, because it just looked so good on her too. So horse lovers, I'm just gonna nap with the foals and um, just make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything free spirit equestrian or any updates and i will be doing a video on bell soon too okay i just i just don't have the energy to talk about a ton of stuff today so thanks so much for tuning in i'll see you next time bye